when you zoom out like that and you really put the entire picture into perspective about how that shift has transferred to the public, it's incredible. And one of those members of the public that has such a uh, wide influence on TikTok is you. You have amassed over half a million followers on your TikTok page where, among other things, you comment on the current pop culture headlines and how each scenario relates to the world of PR. Now, what has it been like to not only have your original content gain such an incredible reach, but have your audience trust you as their pop culture PR insider? Well, amassing the number of followers that I did on TikTok and across all my social media platforms, when I think of you know half a million people, it is as rewarding as it is terrifying. <laughs> I certainly recognize that it, it's it's really a way to you know, to, to reflect on the work that I've done and how it resonates with people. You know, I like having that connection with an audience. I really like having people listen to me and trust me because trust is such an important element. However, it could turn on me at any moment. You know, what a great headline would be the PR lady who talks about the crisis, the PR crises out there has her own, you know, PR crisis. So certainly I am mindful every single time I hit post on any social media post, I have to think about reputation. But how I work, even though day to day I am a strategist working with clients, I'm also a teacher, but I'm also a student. I need to learn every single day what's changing here. Why has this element changed? Like, why doesn't a news article or a press release have the same impact as before? Why is a publicist so fascinating to the public? And what I've learned is that people love behind the scenes. They love to know how things work. And the way that I look at my work is we all know that things are a puppet show. Okay, I don't need to tell anyone that, hey, it's a puppet show. Everyone knows the strings are there. I don't need to show them the strings, but I show them the manipulation of the strings. And so what they're seeing and why they're seeing it, that's what people find fascinating. And so I bring that not only social media, but also into my work, but also into my talks. I like to tell people in an audience when I'm speaking in a keynote, those same type of tips but they relate more to that corporate level or higher ed level or whatever it is, whoever the audience is, is like when they know the behind the scenes as well, they feel more comfortable about communication.